Because you are good, we lift up our praise in this place. Because you are faithful, we lift up our praise in this place. Because there is none besides you. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I feel like we can lift up a better praise. seated next to a new face maybe hallelujah we are so honored and privileged that the speaker of the word is in our midst we are so so blessed and so so humbled that he chose to be with us here so with the joy of the lord let us invite pastor andy mburu to bring the word of the lord come on until he gets here until he gets here, until he gets here, until he gets here, until he gets here, until he gets here. Hallelujah. Sante, Sante, San. All right. Bonesu was if you sana. I wasn't expecting to come up this soon, but up on his hour, up on his hour. All right. Mkosawa, help me appreciate the worship team and just the team that has led us here today. Am I, am I the one to release you, bless you? Ose wanguvu sana. Hata nyi mnaenda band, hata mkosawa. Ama mnata kukapo? No, 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 I'm good. Mnaeza pumzika huku. All good. Sawa, sawa, mkofiti. Shall I pray and then we sit? Yes. All right, let me pray. Father and our God, thank you for this opportunity. I am honored to stand with your people, with your sons and with your daughters um, in this conference. For the next couple of minutes, Father, I pray, would you allow us to turn to your word and um, I pray, God, speak to me, speak to us this day um, to the end that your kingdom would be extended, your name would be glorified, and that we would receive so much joy through your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Karibuni sana. Um, you may have your seats. Bana nasikia niko mbali, naona niko mbali sana. Ama nishuke. Naweza shuka? Am I allowed to come down there? Okay. Wacha nishuke. Nani hata ni? Ingia hapa. Just give me one second. I'll be down. Ujama atakuwa husband wa nguvu siku moja. Jamaa wa nguvu sana. Let me come down. Let me come down. Let me come down. All right. Thanks man. Asante. Mukofiti. My name is Andy. I'm blessed to be in uh, your presence today. Sana sana. Eh uh, so I just want to begin by thanking your your leadership here. Um in his absence your your bishop bishop kimani namshukuru sana sana ku kukubali mrasa kuje mahali kama hii bwana asifiwe it's uh, i think he's a second bishop from the deliverance church ambaye ananikubali na hiyo design the first one is bishop juguna uh, he's in langata uh, we were in a trip with him in uh, i took a trip to israel a few years ago with my wife when I took on a holy land and he was in, in, in that team and um, uh, you know a few, a few people in the group decided they want to get baptized and the bishop asked me if we could baptize people in the Jordan with him nikaona ni kama amechanganyikiwa kidogo hapo because I don't know about you but I don't come from a si kitu ya kawaida watu wanakaa hivi kupatiwa kazi kama hizo bwana Yesu asifiwe sana 
Eh hey, warasi watu wamekubalika sana. Eh hey, if you and I are walking to a building we utaingia mimi nita nitaitishwa ID. Maisha yetu inakuanga hivyo. Um, but so I'm honored really honored um, uh, for your pastors as well. Uh, Pastor Francis whom I met this morning and of course um mchungaji Brian Mwashigadi asante sana. Thank you so much. I'm I'm really really truly honored to to come and do this here today. Mko sawa lakini Nataka kujua nyinyi ini jeshi gani ini crew ina engage ama ama nyinyi unyamaza ama nyinyi ni wa mnashangilia anga amen nyinyi mko mnako ngapi mko zote zote all good sawa so, eh uh, i hope that you can interact with me hopefully in the next couple of minutes as we turn to god's word but uh, naleta salamu from my 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 wife and um our, our two kids mezipokea for my wife Bella uh, she and I have been together for many well, married for seven years now yeah mungu ni mwema sana huyo dem ni ni mnoma ni ni dem wa ajabu sana mimi ndaambia tu hivyo when she and I met we were i was actually freshly widowed when when she and I met i had lost my first wife um whom you know we were had been married for three months she died three months after the wedding and uh, so me story ya love nilikuwa nimeifunga kusema ukweli um but yet god had amazing plans uh for me through this this uh, wonderful lady so if you ever see her anywhere mwambie mwambie na mlike sawa mwambie mimi na mlike sana sana eh uh, we have two kids our daughter is five years old her name is zidi um our son is three he's called yonasi and um nimeambiwa nitoshekea hapo sasa ni hapo ni hapo tumefika all right you guys are good have you been having uh, has god been doing something in your heart the last couple of days yes or no semeni ukweli imekuwa poa god has been re, you know shaping some things in your heart hopefully um maybe asking you to change some things maybe rebuking you um convicting you of 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 your ways um and uplifting you even your whenever god gathers people like this and in a conference like this that's what he does i'm told you've been talking about uh you've been going through the book of ephesians yes kiasi yeah and um our text today will be based on 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 ephesians ephesians chapter 3 nimengoa but ni sawa eh wa Efeso <laughs> Ephesians chapter 3 um verse let me just borrow mchungaji na that before i open acha nisifungue hii uh, how many have your bibles ama you have your gadgets is your bible in your gadget by a bible iko kwa gadget inakuanga na nini you start out reading the bible but then ka text kanaingia kanini ka, ka instagram kana kana fuata uh, uh, we are in Ephesians chapter 3 okay and uh, there's something here that Paul is writing to the Ephesians and he touches on something hey chungaji what it is kuna kapesa hapa Indonesia sio hapa sorry sio ya huku hii ni ka 20 bob ya Kenya ama <laughs> Look let me read this one and then we'll just turn to it. Um we are in Ephesians chapter 3. I don't know if you project or not. All right, cool. Paul anasema hivi, anasema for this reason I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ from whom the family, the whole family in heaven and earth is named that he would grant you speaking to you and I according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened in the might through his spirit in the inner man that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith uko hapo verse 17 that you being rooted and grounded in love unaona hiyo rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all the saints to understand with all the saints what is the width the length the depth and the height of 
this love. Paul, Paul, Paul is talking, uh, is, 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 is sort of, anaongelea kusu. If you're reading it, it's almost like he, he has already talked about, he's trying to expand this king and, and I try to explain about this love that apparently is not like any other kind of love. So that's the love we're going to talk about here today. Anasema, Paul anasema there's, there's a certain depth to this love that perhaps the Ephesians need to understand. Kuna with flani ya upendo, kuna depth flani ya upendo. It's a different kind of love that uh, he's talking about. The one that Jesus himself also talked about. And that's what we will dwell on. Kidogo leo tuone kama mungu anatuambia kitu. Yeah? Mkosawa? So what as you, I think I've introduced myself, um, I, I serve um, one of the pastors in a church called Nairobi Chapel, Kama Ushai and a showground, um, it's a tent on your left, if you branch off in Gong Road going to showground, sisi tuko kwa mahema bado mungu wa jatu, hizi ni maono, one day tutajenga jenga. But uh, my wife and I serve there, um, um, she's a children's pastor, I've been, I've been in, in worship and we call them creative services. Um, what else? I am 36 years old. I know. 36. How old are you? Turn to your neighbor and tell them how old you are. Is it, is it a weird thing? <laughs> How many are okay with letting people know how old they are? Are you? Yeah? It's, it's interesting. So maybe you are in an age where... How many are under 20? Under 20 years old? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Under 20. Sour. Above 20? Here we go. All right. Watch out. We're going to generalities. You are still at the age where... Watu bado wako okay kusema how old they are. Okay, you get to a certain place, you get to a certain age in life here in this country and in our culture where, especially madame, all of a sudden you're, you're, you're ashamed of your, of your age. I'm told we are the first generation to be ashamed of how old we are, you know, that you are 30 something, you are nini, simply because I think there's this notion that maybe by that age you're supposed to have done one, two, three things and you haven't, okay. But um, uh, it turns out that our parents never had that issue. If you ask your dad any, any, any stage of his life, unge muliza na miyaka ngapi ya um, So, so I, I make it a habit to tell people how old I am, even though, you know, in a, in a, kuna ka pressure ya kutosema, but I'm 36. Do you know what that means? It means God has been faithful to me for 36 years. My heart has been beating like this. For 36 years. Na hiyo ni baraka kubwa sana. I may not have, uh, you know, si, 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 labda sina nyumba kubwa na nini, but God amenyekea, amenipumzisha. Nimepumua. Amenipumuishisha. Amenipumzisha. Amenipumu. Pumuisha. Nimekuanga ni kipumuanga, pumuanga. For 36 years. Okay. Do you guys love the Bible? God has always believed that the life that he has for you is the best life that you could ever have. It's a funny thing to say that God has always believed it, but you know, Mungu anaamini, Mungu anaamini that the life that he has for you is better than any other life that you can ever have. I don't know what you believe, but God believes that. Now, there are other people who believe other things, okay? Your enemy, the enemy of our souls, he believes that if you give him your life, he, will, he has better plans for you. And um, maybe you've seen something on social media, maybe you're on a kitu on YouTube. There are certain things that are calling to your attention, certain lifestyles, certain ways of living that are telling you, listen, listen, I know, uh, we know that church thing. Yo kitu ya church, munendanga na muna conference, na every Sunday you are in church. Um, but here's another way that you could do life. And by the way, it's a better way to do life. But you know, God has always believed 
that his way is the best way. Then you have other things in your life trying to pull you to another side, telling you um, he has a better way of living. God anakwambia, he thinks, God thinks that it is better for you for you to have the best uh, sexual life you can ever have, God believes that um, you need not to have it in your teen years. God believes that you need to wait to get married in order to enjoy the best sex you can ever have. Is there, is there anyone under 13 here? Am I overstepping? I am Kosawa. But then the other, the, but then, but then you don't believe that, right? Because dunia yako inakuita na vitu zingine inakuambia, wacha nikuambie. The best sex you can ever have is the sex that you have with as many people um, as, as you can, as many times as you can. That's the best life. And when you think about it, they look like they are right. But God believes other, another thing. So you are in a life where you either believe what God says, and either God is right or wrong, or, or you believe what Every other person, every other thing, every other circumstance in your life will, will bring you away. And here's the thing. God has always, today I'm going to assume I'm, I'm, I'm talking to people who have chosen Jesus Christ to be their Lord and Savior. Or at least you're considering it because you're in this conference. God has always tried to explain this thing to mankind and he's done it through different ways. Okay, so let's consider the Bible. Who's the father of faith? Why? Why is Abraham the father of, and I told you, the father of faith, the father of our faith. Why is Abraham the father of our faith? Why? Tell me. Why? He believed, he believed God. Okay, Yes. He patiently waited for a son. I like the answer. Anyone else? Yes. He sacrificed. He wanted to sacrifice his son. Okay. Anyone else? Yemusho? Victor. Is it Victor? Yes, sir. Guruma, Baba. Guruma. Amesemaje? Okay. You must care. Akosawa. Was it Victor? Sasa, Grumia ni manzi. Goda limuita. Okay. Look, when you think about Abraham, he, a lot of people, we consider him to be the father of faith because he was willing to sacrifice his son Isaac. Sawa. And he had waited for this baby for, 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 for very many years. Okay? He was almost, I think, 90 when he got this child. Um, and, and, and so that is considered. I, I think I, I, I read the Bible now and I look at it and I think, faith But you have to consider that by the time God is coming to Abraham, he is not in a Christian nation. He's not living in a place where people know this God that would later on be known as Yahweh. So Abraham is living in a pagan world. In other words, Abraham and Ishi, by the time God and Akuji Abraham, Abraham and Ajuyu Yumungu. Tunelewana. Now, when Ishi Mali, in a season and in a time where other gods are being worshipped, they're worshipping Baal, they're worshipping all sorts of gods who require all sorts of things. So, human sacrifices were not an uncommon thing. If you needed your God to give you something amazing, then the best sacrifice, after umetoa mambuzi, umetoa mangombe, sasa unataa serious, unataa kutoa sacrifice serious, you would sacrifice your child. One of the gods was a big uh, bull made of brass. Chuma kubwa sana, it's a big bull. And then in the middle of those two horns, in the middle of the horns on the, on the head, kuna kikarai, kia chuma. And, and they would hit this karai, you know, red hot. And, and then the infants, if you want to sacrifice your little child, a small infant would be placed on that red hot coal, uh, you know, brass metal sakarai thing and sacrificed to God. So, so listen, when God comes to Abraham after blessing him with a child and tells Abraham, I want you to sacrifice your son, doesn't it 
how come I want your conversation ya huyo Mungu ni Mungu wa aina gani Mbona Abraham ashangai na huyo God ana hey, eh God ni mnyama akona unyama fulani why because the gods of his time it is what they do so Abraham goes up on that hill with his son and when he's just about to sacrifice his son to this new god who seems to be like any other god this god says he stops the axe and he says don't do it and he and he tells him dio iko ndo iko hapo provides the sacrifice if you are living in Abraham's time and you come down the hill and Abraham Abraham comes down the hill na umuulize Abraham kumeendaje and Abraham tells you My new God he stopped me from sacrificing my son. He says, "What do you mean?" And then Abraham says, "Then so what happened?" And Abraham says, "He provided the sacrifice." That would be news headlines because the gods do not give. They take. They do not give, they take. For for a god to sacri- to give you an offering that you may offer to him, it was unheard of. That is the news flash. This is a new kind of god. This god, people would listen to Abraham's story and go back and go like, "Eh, you god basi. That's an interesting one." Okay? Hiyo tujaisikia. Yeye ana provide sacrifice. Okay. Maybe maybe we should pay attention. And God begins to shape basically kwa hii land yenye ni pagan, watu wanaanza ku get attention fulani, wanaanza kuona, "Okay, Maybe 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 Abraham has something going on and God begins to shape how he intends his people to live through Abraham. And when we think it's about Abraham, God expands it to his family. It's really, you know, watch that family. Look at how they're behaving. There's something about them. Kuna kuna kitu na vile huyo Mungu anawapeleka. Huyo Mungu anaitwaje? Abraham tell me again. How how did how did this God come about? What does he want from you? Because he seems like he's a better deal than the deal that we have with the other gods. And when we think it's about Abraham's family God expands it kidogo and there's a new story there there's a story about Abraham and Lot and and the relationships that are going there and you know how God is expanding his family God and I'm blessed sana vitu zake zinaendelea ku grow supernaturally it's like this guy started with nothing and now he has a lot of sheep and camels and and cows and whatever and when we think it's about this family The descendants of Abraham go into the land of Egypt. You remember the story? And Joseph becomes king there and they go into Egypt as a clan and as a family, but they come out for the first time as a what? As a nation. And and God sasa anaendelea kushape the narrative through this nation called Israel. In other words, if you lived in the time when the Israelites were living, ungeweza kuangalia hiyo nation na useme, "Ah watu vile wanaishi." maybe 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 tunafaa ku cross over and in fact there they, they were people who they were not born israelites but they there were ways that you could convert and become an israelite they were called aliens and they were if you check the old testament there were rules as to how somebody can come into god's kingdom but god is trying to say something with the children of israel so zino kisoma old testament ina kaa kitu kingine iko iko imechapa sana by the way wakona ma wakona ma laws zingine za fani fani wakona ma rules zingine as it makes sense usaisoma unastambua kuna vitu zingine ya vile ya vile you know somebody ha- when 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 a woman is in her period how how she is supposed to do you wash how many times god is just some some of them are just hygiene things women are living in a day where you understand bacteria you understand how infections are transmitted you 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 those people did not have science so mungu akisema when somebody is for example uh, sick they are unclean and they should be put away and separated from the others and anyone who goes to serve them food when they come back they should wash in the river seven times it seems ritualistic but god is teaching them public health unanipata kitu wenye wewe ungeona ni Bible Bible uki 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 engage mind kidogo unaona you, you know God will begin to open up your your eyes to see that it is not what we think it is. Let me give you an example. So when when the when the children of Israel wako pale eh, jangwani, ushisikia jina jangwani? Wako pale jangwani. God is giving them you know certain rules of how to live in you know Deuteronomy and Leviticus. Um In 1940 1945 archaeologists wali wali excavate somewhere in Iraq these big tablets 
that were, they, they are called the Code of Shinuna, their laws. Laws of a certain people that lived right about the time the children of Israel were living. Nanipata. And, and these are, because there are other nations, Sindios, Kulikona Philistines, Kuna Canaanites, there are also other nations that are not mentioned in the Bible um, that, that, that existed at the time. So this, these things that were brought out of the ground, they were excavated, uh, archaeologists, Zilikwana, the, the rules of how a certain group of people should live. Um, they're, they're called Eshnuna, the code of Eshnuna. Here, here's what one of the rules, one of the codes said, okay? It said, for example, if uh, Victor and I, back there, for some reason, me na Victor tukwe na ugom vikidogo, and then I happen to pluck out Victor's eye, okay? The code of Eshnuna says that I am to give Victor, I think it is nine shekels, Okay, nita mlipa doflani because of your jicho ni metoa. All right. But say this, these people are neighbors to the children of Israel. If you go to the children of Israel and look at their laws, you unapata yawe aliwaambia, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. Mimi nikisoma hiyo verse saizi in 2019, I look at it and I think God is very violent. Why would God say an eye for an eye? But if you lived next to the Israelites and perhaps you were in the kingdom of these guys in the, and you're reading the code of Eshnuna, ungetaka kuwa kwa kingdom gani? You see, if I have money, I can pluck out your eye and I pay you. Does that make sense? Nikiwa na chapa, na nitumane macho itolewe, na tukifika kwa kotini, na lipa yo pesa. I have money. So you can imagine, and especially if you are a poor person, which kingdom would you rather belong? Because God comes now with the children of Israel and says, wait, 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 look. Ukitoa jicho ya mtu, yako inatolewa. Whether you are rich, whether you are poor, God assigns value to every human being. Ukitoa jino ya mtu, na yako pia itolewe. So wacha kuenda kama unatoa toa mawatu mamacho. Juhata we unambili peke yake. Okay? So, People have always looked at how God's people live and they would rather belong to the God's camp. Are we together? Hey, ni kama na wapoteza mwana niambia. Are we together? Yes? And, and so they have, you see these laws. I'm just going through a brief thing about the, 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 what the Bible is. So, so Moses gives the children of Israel 615 laws. And when we think it's about the children of Israel, later on, uh, God and Akuja and I introduce um, Jesus Christ. I'm just jumping real quick. Uh, and, 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 and Jesus Christ comes with another thing. But, but look, to me, Anzana Abraham. But, but then the children of Israel are given what? They're given 615 laws. Some are cultural, some are sort of ritualistic. Some are, it is how you relate to God, how you relate to other people. This is how you will live. comes and gives them how many laws? Reduces them to 15. From 615, 615 to 15 laws. Isaiah had 13. The ones that Isaiah gave the children of Israel. Mika alikuwa na tatu. Check the book of Mika. Uh, it says to act justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly before the Lord. And then Jesus reduces them to two. So you have 615, they come down to 15, they come down to 13, they come down to three. And then one day, Jesus is, is teaching, and, and, and this, this Bible says, wanaitua, this uh, expert of the law, this Pharisee, mtu anaelewa Bible, anaelewa word, I mean Torah vizuri sana, uh, comes to him and says, uh, Master, when Luke chapter 10, what must I do to inherit the kingdom of God? Jesus anamuambia, we unaelewa word? You, 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 know, you know what the law says. What does it say? And, and this guy says, to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself. Which, by the way, they were not new laws. One is found in Deuteronomy. The other one is found in Leviticus. I may combine, I may combine laws mbili. Akazi collapse. And Jesus tells him, umepata. That is exactly what you need to do. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your strength and mind. That's Deuteronomy 6, 5. 
And love your neighbor as yourself is Leviticus 19.18. If you check it out, it's Ipata. And Jesus tells him, you have answered correctly. Do this and you will live. Luke chapter 10. Immediate verse 29. And Sema, but this guy, he wanted to justify himself. So he asks Jesus, who is my neighbor? And Jesus goes on to give him this story, this parable. Wapendwa, Yesu wakianza story, you better pay attention. Ukiuliza Yesu swali inaanza ka story, you better pay attention. Because in, the, in that day and age, that was the primary way of teaching something. Ukitaka mtu, mtu wakitaka, ni kama mafumbo, unajua wahenga? Ushaizikia wahenga? Eh, ukiona muhenga, yani ukikuja, ukiuliza muhenga swali, akuji, akupati yagi direct. Because anataka ufikirie kidogo. Muhenga ananzanga na, na mafumbo. Kitenda wili? Kitenda wili? Paukwa? Sahani? Giza, kiboko, na maziwa je? Hey, you guys are old. <laughs> Yomuli ipata? Watoto wanyao yomuli get? Hey, that's a... Uh, Iyo ni akitambo. So, God begi- so Jesus anamuambia, if you do these two things, your story itaisha. And then Jesus steps into this story to talk about what we now know as the Good Samaritan. Do you know the story? You know the story? Do you? Hey, tuko hapa, muko sala. Munajua yo story? Jesus begins to talk about this Jewish person who was going about his way. Alikuwa naenda, I think, to the temple to pray. And wagondiwa naruka wana mtandika mbae. Wana muona wo. Zima man, kuna kuwaga na mangeta hapa. Aku ni kusao. Zima aku nangeta. Kuna mta zingine, au tembe yangi hivo. So uu jamaa likuwa kwa mta kama hiyo. Hame pigu ambaye. And then he's left by the side road to die. And then who checks in? Who's the first person to come? Do you know? Nani nana kamu? Is a priest, is it? Tupendue hiyo, tuangalie. Do you know the verse? Who's, who begins by coming? A Levite. A priest, a priest anakuja, is the first one to come. But a priest, ana time, ana, ana kimbia conference. Anaenda kupreach. Ana, ana githa ya ikitu. Ana time ya his staff. So the priest looks at this guy, anafikiria mazea pana. He conference ni mini mechelewa, itabidi ni enda. He crosses over to the other side of the road and goes his way. And, and, then, and, uh, and then the other person who comes is a Levite. Now, Levites in the tribe of Israel, Levites in the O, wase wa MOG. Yani wana come down, ni ma descendants wa watu wa Mungu kama joy hivi unaona joy ni kama levite flani hivi yani yani wa, baba yake baba huka yake walikuwa ni mapasi unacheki joy your second generation ama th- ama third generation third generation believer eh hey, hey, mtu kama joy hivi mtu kama my wife my wife is a fourth generation pastor okay so so this levite comes yani tradition ya uungu iko pale but but pia yeye ako na conference anakimbia zima ana need to make a few things in order ana cross over to the other side of the road and, and he keeps going and then Jesus says a third person comes and it is a samaritan now listen if you are listening to Jesus tell this story na unakula makucha yako cuz you know nini story poa Una, una, una cheki WhatsApp, nani ya mekutumia WhatsApp, uko kwa phone yako, Jesus, ana, Jesus is telling a good story. And, and you're, I mean, you're listening, but you're, he, you're hearing, but you're listening. I mean, ni story fiti. When Jesus mentions a Samaritan, your attention is captured. Kila kitu ingine ulikuwa nasema, kila kitu ingine ulikuwa nafanya inaisha, because ame mention watu fulani. In 2008, I, we had just done the elections. And I was going for a Bible study. A K-Crew Bible study. Kumbama Crew Bible study ilikuwa mamlaka church. I was with my friend Linda. Um, you know, we used to serve together in K-Crew and she's driving. I mean, I had a passenger seat. to me a kura. Oh, I didn't mention I was born and raised in a place called Kitale. Um, I just found out today, you know, I, I came in and I looked at Pastor Francis. I told him, I'm going to go to the house. 
Okay. My parents come from Thika, uh, the Kukuyus, but they moved to Kitale in the early 70s, 1971. So I was born and raised in a place called Kitale. Kitale, and then all, all sorts of tribes. So I have not been brought up in Kikuyu land. Nantwata. So to Mepiga Kura 2008, and we are going for Bible study. And as far as I know, I knew that the guy I have voted for is going to be president. Because I'd like him to be president, I think he's a better leader. This is what I think. But we're listening to the radio. Na news inanza kuingia. Na hizo hesabu waziendi poa. Inanza kukani kama wale wasi wanashinda. Wale wasi sijavotia wakukuhu. Nika wanachukua ikitu. So Linda is talking to me and I've shut her out. I don't even know what she's saying. And then... We're going up the hill, apo, 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 serena, alafu, nikaona moshi. Nikaona kamoshi, kamepanda mbele ya mapo yangu hivi. Shhh. Na kakanuka kama, shaisikia feathers zikiungue vile zinanukaga. Kakanuka kama, kamoshi, kaka, in the car. Ladies and gentlemen, nimechanga nyikiwa mbaya. Unona ile laita ya sigara? Kwa gari? Nimeifinya. Nimewaka moto. I'm not even aware. I'm playing with it with my hand. Nimejichoma kidole mpaka imetoa moshi imepanda na, na siski nimeangalia hivi i look at my thumb nimeichoma elinda is telling me andi are you okay and i'm like i i know i'm fine at ya what were the counts again at raila amepata ngapi tukafika mamlaka nikashuka i had to go to the i had to go and you know take a leak nikaenda nikaenda to urino just to Sisi tunakuanga na ukuta. Are you aware, by the way? Ladies, as guys, I have a wall. We don't, we are not troubled. Ndiyo mana atunanga laini kwa church on Sunday in jail. So I go to this wall to do my business and halfway through, I realize I'm not standing on that wall. Niko mbele ya dustbin. Nimechanga nyikiwa. Later on, somebody was explaining to me I was having what is called a panic attack. All of a sudden, it's hitting me that wajaka wanaenda kushinda ikitu. Na mimi, if you ask me, I don't consider myself a, a, a tribal man. But nime panic, baka hata sijui pa kukojoa mze. Tunenda Bible study. I'm a, I'm a Christian. Tunatoka Bible study, we're walking in town with my friend. He's also from my tribe. Tunme panic yetu yote. We go to this place, it used to, call me, it used to be called Millennial. By the way, your camera, in a, in a, is it streaming? Are we online? Ah, it's not live. Sure. I can tell you things. I am. So, so, <laughs> so, we go to this place called Millennial. Apparently, it's also owned by a Kikuyu. And anatuona tumenuzunika, tumepanika, anakuja, anatuambia, musijali wa vijana yangu. Kama tuku, 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 kama tuku shindua siku za moi, hata siku za zanini atuta shindua. Let me ask you. And me, I know we can be honest with each other. No one is streaming this thing. Which tribe do you find hardest to love in this nation? Kwa maisha tu yako. Please turn to the person next to you, muambie ukweli. Which tribe do you find hardest to love and why? Tell me. Anajua, we are all Christians. Which tribe? Sini wa Kenya, apana jali, apana jali. Whatever happens in this conference, it stays here. Tell me, who wants to share? Nani atatuambia? Nataka tu kama example mbili hivi. Eh? Uwe, sawa. Yako ni gani? Mkamba. Wewe ni mkamba? No, but na try benye unafind ngumu gusa zingine kuwaonyesha love ya mungu ni gani? Nani? Where, where are you? Here. Yeah. Yes, let me come that side. Let me. These are some bold people. Makofi yake tafazali. Makofi. Haibu tuambie. What's your name? Tekla. Tekla. Tekla, you, your family enu ni ya wapi? Uh, wakamba. Haibu ni mukamba. Haibu ni wambie. <laughs> Ugumu uko kwa wakabila gani? Kwa wakisi. Kwa wakisi. Haya. 
Usi hapane kusipane iko sawa. Wakisi tuko hapa. Tuko hapa. Eh, do you mind if I ask you why? No. You'd rather not say. Okay, but kuna tu kitu na wakisi. Okay. Mwingine? I have one more. Cool, cool, cool. That's why we use a microphone. Okay. She says ka ka kalenjin. Wakale. Eh na wewe wewe kwenu ni wapi? She's Luo. Wakale. Kuna tu kitu na wakale, ndio? Kuna ka kitu. Upande hii kuna ama nyinyi. Ama nyinyi mko inchi. Yes, I take one more. Wacha wanaume au wana wacha wanaume ongee. Mimi nilikuwa Somali. Oh Somali. Yes. Yes. Hiyo tunajua kwa nini, si ndio? Eh, si ndio? Kwa nini? Kwa nini? Eh. Sijui tuseme kitambo si sahi before nilikuwa tu naona ni kasi part of us. Awakai they are not one of us. Awakai hata hii tribe ya wa Somali ni unashangani wa Kenya kweli. Kuna Somali tribe lakini una feel kama tungeichongea hiyo map tuichonge. Tungeichonge hapa chini. Tuachane na hizi ni maziko na pale juu. Na pia ni hiyo nini? Unajua ile marashi ya bint El Sudan. Una unaona vile inakuwa na shi bint El Sudan hiyo. Yako ni gani? Waluya. Waluya. Wewe wewe ni this is uh, Moreithi. Mark Moreithi. Mark Moreithi wanasema watu wa Waluya. Haya, wacha atuambie kwa nini? <laughs> Wata kumalizia ugali kwa meza. <laughs> Asema watu wa kumalizia ugali. Jesus talks about mentions a Samaritan and if you are listening to Jesus and you are in Jesus's tribe and time ame mention wale wasi damu yenu azisikiza nangi kabisa the Jews and the Samaritans don't mix remember the time Jesus alipatikana akiongea na the Samaritan woman by the well one of the issues was ana, ana, unaongea nini na hawa hawa ni wale wasi you really Muko na enemy fulani ya yenye au ielewi. Kuna tu damu yako isikia gipoa iki, iki mix na watu. Jesus mentions a Samaritan. He says a Samaritan comes along and he sees this guy who has been beaten and he has pity on him. Are you listening? He has pity on him. He goes, he takes up the guy and ampigisha first aid. He takes him to the hospital and he pays the bill. pays the bill Jesus turns to this guy Let me read it for you he went to him and bandaged his wounds pouring on oil and wine this is disinfection then he put the man on his own donkey brought him to an inn and took care of him him the next day he took out two denarii and gave them to the innkeeper and he says look after him he said and when i return I will reimburse you for the extra expenses that you may have. Naenda lakini nikirudi I'll pay for every bill here. Jesus turns to this guy and says, "Which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell in the hands of the robbers?" It's a rhetorical question, of course. Who has been a neighbor to this guy? The expert of the law replied, "The one who had mercy on him." And Jesus tells him, "Go and do likewise it is funny that by the, when jesus tells a story about this great commandment to love god and love people he makes the hero of the story the person you do not like i was in campus a few years ago and there was a guy a friend to some of our friends and i was born again and i was in the fellowship let me call let me just call him jemo and jemo was very was very feminine nanielewa do you understand jemo alikuwa very very feminine na tuku atukuwa tuna like mse kama wewe wamse alikuwa akikam kwa room yenye tuko tunatoka 
Okay? Because hatujui uh, uh, tutadiraje na uchali. Uchali alikuwa anatembea anaza tembea hapa a swing. A swing hapa. In fact when it came to teaching girls how to cut walk for the you know university pageants he was the one who would train them. Na ni juu hivyo ni yeye utembea hivyo. Yeye utembea hivyo you know just the way he is. And so we we had a feeling this guy is is gay. He's a homosexual. And so we we really didn't like him, okay? I look at I look back at how we treated this guy. I don't know about you but when 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 I'm asked to consider who is my neighbor, those are the kind of people that come to mind. I really don't like them. The, your neighbor is is people you don't you don't really it's not just people you love, you like, you look to see it's people who who believe differently from you. It's people who uh believe in in, in another god. It's people who you generally don't like. Jesus says, if you want my kingdom and if you want to step into my kingdom, two things you must do. Love God with everything that you have and love people. Not people who are easily loved, but love people now it is counter cultural everything within you doesn't want to do that because bila tulikuwa tuna treat huyu jamaa we made him believe that god unajua vile si usema god hates sin we not only made him know that god hates sin we made him in our own actions to believe that god despises him as a person despises him not his sin despises him. I think we treated him in such a way that this guy knew that there is no hope for him in the family of God. Akuna. Do you know nobody has ever been hated into God's kingdom? Never. Hakuna mtu ashaichukiwa sana na wakristo mpaka akakaa hivi akaona, "Wa! Hasa amenichukia itabidi niokoke. Itabidi ni wajoin." They hate me so much and uh, maybe maybe I should maybe I should join them. Maybe I should accept the God that they serve. Nobody nobody it's never happened. The biggest weapon that we have is love. I met this guy a couple of years later tulikutana mahali Tungong Road ilikuwa kama saa 5 mchana hivi na alikuwa anakaa ametoka kuvuta mavitu fulani he, you know back in university he, he wasn't on drugs but i think it got into some time in his life now he's al, yani yani al, yani alikaa ako mbali ako mbali na god ameenda hata much further and and now god had dealt with a few things in my heart and i crossed the road to go meet him and to go say hi to him and he was utterly confused totally confused ana shanga andi ananisalimia aje ana amekujaje kunisalimia cuz huyu mse tu kuwa tunaweza msalimia we were so saved our job was to hate the people who don't know our god jesus tells you what must you do to inherit his kingdom you must love god and love people listen nobody Nobody is really your enemy. No human being is really your enemy. And I'm talking about even the terrorists. Do you know we have the same God? We have the same father. They they are just our brothers and sisters who do not know who their real father is yet. But this is your brother and sister. We have the same father. Two things you have in common with every person in this world. You have the same father, whether they know it or not is a different thing. That's the one thing you have the same father and secondly you have the same enemy. All of us we have the same enemy. Now what the enemy would have you do is to believe that this other person is your real enemy. Now when he have once once the devil has you believing that the person who is a Samaritan in your life is your enemy, he steps aside and you now do his work. Utafanya kazi yake sasa anyone who bears the image of god 
is your neighbor? Anyone? And nobody has ever been hated into this kingdom. Have you seen the way CCU treat wa Islam usa ile kuna kuangana terrorist attack? Ushaona vile CCU treat? Ushaona ile kitu inakujanga ndani yako ukiona ukiona Muislamu hiyo time kumebomiwa ushaisikile school driver inakuanga hapa ina alafu iko ndani ya roho alafu mtu ame twist hivi ka school driver unakajua? That is when you read that's upon your God anakuanga na kuambia eh kuna kuna vitu nataka kuna kitu hapo ndani nataka tu let's let's address that how is it that you can be born again loving god with all your heart mind soul and loving your neighbor and loving jesus and you are convinced god cannot bless you with a husband from that tribe Sindio. Unasema eh nye, tunapenda Mungu wote lakini he? Hapana. Hao wasi hapana. How? How is it that we can be we are going to share eternity together all of us we will be at Jesus's feet. But unanitolea mpaka verse kuniambia vile God hazi nipatia kitu yenye mimi sija desire. God can never give you something that is not in you. Kama God angetaka ni ni marike na wasiwa hiyo tribe angekuwa ameniekea hiyo desire ndani yangu. Acha nikuambie leo, hiyo ni ushetani. True story. Hiyo ni usheta. Mimi ndio huyo nimeokoka napenda God I'm serving God full time na nime panic yangu yote that Raila Amolo Odinga will be president. Kwani Raila si mtu sio mtu? Na kwani ni hata na hata akiongoza kwani Yesu is he not still on the throne? Hizi ni nini tuna panicking sana hapa? How about Andy, how about when when's the last time you you prayed for Raila? Andy, when's the last time you prayed for the vice president William Samoe Ruto? Ah, hapana, but the guys who are ponda wao ndio wanamaliza hii nchi sawa. Eh, hey, oh hey, watu wanaiba pesa nini nini but but you remember. You remember this person has the image of god on them how about you pray that god's anointing and his influence over his life is increased more and more and more na sisemi usishutumu you know evil call evil for what it is but guys you are never designed not to love another human being and jesus believes that if you get to a place where you love god and love people you will be free indeed Tulipa moja. I believe that we have a church in this country. And that is why every five years we will be hit because the church is living it's not like any other kingdom. We are the same. The same hate that we have out there is the same hate in the church when it comes to tribes, when it comes to differences. Na ndo maana nchi hizi songa Shida inchi si wana siasa wacha niwaambie ni wa Kristo. People are supposed to look at how you behave, how you treat somebody else who's different and think to themselves, how do they do that? How come how come ana, ana how come anapenda anga wa, wa Somali? Sawa, okay. Sasa hizi wachinku wa wamejaa huko. Na sasa ile unaona mchinku kuna haka kitu kana twist hapa ndani. How come hatuna mabeshte ma, ma wa chinku? How come machinku hizi kuja hapa tukue okay? Maybe maybe we should plant Chinese churches here. So that now that now that tumekataa kuenda huko na God anawaleta hapa, maybe we should plant a Chinese speaking church somewhere in Hallingham, huko penye wamejaa and, 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 and witness to them. And here's a funny thing though. Ndio ndio uone vitu ya shetani ni ya ujinga sana. 
8 minutes tumalize. Vitu vya shetani na kuangaya ufala. Sasa ile tuko hapa hivi mambo za elections nini nini nini? Umse ni mkale, umse ni mkikuyu, umse ni nini mimi si like ngu umse anakuaga hivi mimi si like madem nini mimi upenda G Browns. Okay, so hizo ma difference ziko nyingi. Okay. Wacha waka nani alisema mkale? Na thank you for your opportunity. You know you're only bold you're, you're among the few who are bold enough to speak up. So the person seated next to you and behind you wako watu kila mtu ana hizi vitu. Uko sawa. But isn't it funny sasa ile mkale anashinda medal unashangilia? Ama unaangalia TV huko ikiwa hata wakuende hata hiyo ni medal ya wapi kuende hata mimi sipendi medal imeletwa na mkale. When they, when they, when when we go out there it's the funniest thing. Sasa ile tuko hapa you're seeing differences. If you step out huyo ni mtu wetu. Akienda mahali anacheza ball nini nini huyo eh hey, wanyama mazee alitinga bao. Lakini akirudi huku yeye ni mluya. Unaniona? Eh hey, akikuwa huko nje tukitoka nje kidogo I spent um, I went to Bible, my friend and I were sent to Bible school we, we were in Australia for two years. Na ukikuwa unaona vile uki step out kidogo unaona unaona similarity uki step out tena kidogo utukitoka huko nje let me tell you when you visit another country hakunanga unakutanga na mkenya unachangamka aje eh hey, ni aje au huko huko pia bana eh hey, hata mimi eh hey, kwenu ni wapi ah hey, eh kwenu ni busia we, we, nyinyi ah kwetu ni moranga eh hey, good to see you bana utuki huko nje si ni kitu mo eh hey, wale mtu yetu same thing ukiwa africa kuna wale wanaija unajua wanaija wanakuanga hivi Oh wa Sudanese wanakuanga hivi. Tukipata na huko nje hakuna hata. We don't even have countries. You should have seen. Yani I'm excited to see a Nigerian man huko nje mbaya niko eh hey, my guy. You know you ni mtu wetu. Every time you step out of your comfort zone mtoke nje unaanza kuona similarities. Utoke nje tena na unaanza kuona eh. Hey. A couple of years from now people will be doing trips to the moon. Okay? Hopefully we'll be alive but it's happening there's a lot of research a lot of money has been pumped into that in a few years to come people will be paying money to go and visit the moon and come back okay uh, Richard Branson will make it happen people like Ellen uh wale ule mse wa Telsa this is to happen can you imagine you will be alive umeenda trip majuu hiyo sana ni majuu ya majuu umeenda ma trip moon majuu you are there and then for some reason umeachwa na hiyo shuttle hiyo shuttle ni ukweli imekuacha alafu upige kona upatane na mchinku ile excitement utakuwa naye ya kuona mwanadamu mwingine all of a sudden mtu wetu mtu wetu human being is this parable where msia na kama nauliza jesus is it okay for me to give taxes jesus says give me a coin and jesus is given the coin si ndio and and jesus ask whose image is on this coin you remember that story and the person says Caesar and God and 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 Jesus says give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar uh, a rabbi from from Israel explained this this parable this story to me akaniambia if you are a jewish person listening to this story and Jesus give what Jesus is actually telling you kuna kuna swali hapo haijaulizwa na ni rhetorical Jesus is actually asking whose image is on you okay whose image is on you forget about e pesa mwenye image mpatie give to caesar what belongs to caesar give god what belongs to god is what jesus says in other words whose image is on you friends i need you to remember that people are created in the image of god be very careful when you throw labels at an image of god somebody created in god's image and god's likeness and i tell you why you should be careful because god values nothing nothing more than human life nothing we were asked this question once in bible school as i finish this question ili kusema because eh, we were all studying to be you know good theologians to call iswa assume you are preaching the you 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 you're, you're going to study to be a pastor are you together last question najua na maswali mingi hii ni ya mwisho last question what would you be doing do you think you are studying or you become a pastor do you teach the bible to people Or do you teach people the Bible? And they are not the same. Do you teach the Bible to people or do you teach people the Bible? Five marks discuss. 
Quick one, tunamaliza. We have three minutes, we are, we're finished. Turn to somebody and ask, tell them what they think. Do you think God is asking you to teach the Bible to people or to teach people the Bible? They are not the same. They... The first one is, do you teach the Bible to people or do you teach people the Bible? Who thinks... Mamaliza? Five marks. Wacha tuone, tunapiga. We, kila mtu anapiga kura, uskose kuinua mkono. Tunainua mkono. How many think that you, if that's what you'll be doing, then you have been called to teach the Bible to people? Lift your hand. The Bible to people. Okay. Hmm. How many think you then have been called to teach people the Bible? Lift your hand. Hey. Unaona unaona maeza matiangi. Wengine wako wapi? Is there a difference? Who thinks there's a difference? Aya nani ale inoa mkono who wants to attempt why they they've chosen what they've chosen? Anyone? Where? There she is again. There she is. Index 1. I like you. I like you. I like Okay. Okay. She's saying um, that you can't teach the Bible to people because the Bible is already inspired by God. It's not your word. So that you teach people the Bible. Okay. Sijawai pata hiyo jibu. All right. That's very interesting. I'll tell you what my answer what I'd pick. I'd say you teach people the Bible. Not the other way around. Have you met people who teach the bible but do not even like people okay ushai wapata unasikia ngani kama hiyo ward unaitaka you have no business teaching the bible to people who you do not even love everything that god does is because he loves people there are people who have exalted god's word above every other thing and i know you know there's bible quotes you can quote for that but remember this even the bible that you hold in your hand it is because of his love for people that god ensured that that bible gets to you you see why so how that for god so loved what the world that he gave his son it is because he loved you and me because he loves people that he does what he does now you cannot be in god's kingdom in your point na tumalize if you are not in the business of loving people utashanga sana are we together god considers it a great sin when you despise and you lower a life that he calls sacred and that is everybody's life and that is why you cannot take it acha nikwambie madem ukiaipata ball kitu isikwambie huyo sio huyo sio kiumbe wa Mungu you will be gravely mistaken the first person to have ever leaped with excitement at Jesus's you know announcement was a baby in someone's baby ni mtoto alishangilia mtoto hajazaliwa you holding life within you god's anointed within you Kuna mavas kwa Bible zinasomanga zinanishtua kidogo. Kuna ile story God ana, anasema eh, kuna story where di, is it in the last it says in the last day and this is Jesus saying people will uh, um, it's, it's in Matthew 25 one of those stories you find <laughs> where, where where people come and say in the last day the son of man ata come na ata separate the sheep from the goats na ata sema eh nyinyi and then you pande hii na nyinyi and then you pande hii and people will be like how did this happen and jesus anaambia watu fulani that nyinyi ondokeni siwajui and you would think hawa ni watu wameua these are murderers these are rapists these are the most, one of the most vile vile people and and jesus comes up with this list of things na unashindwa Unawa, unawachoma juu ya hiyo and he says depart from me i did not know you for i was hungry and did not give me anything to eat i was in prison and you didn't visit me does that make sense 
I needed clothes and you did not clothe me. I was sick and in prison and you did not look after me. But then they will answer, Lord, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty or a stranger needing clothes and sick in prison and didn't help you? And he will reply, truly, I tell you, whatever you did to the least one of these, you did it for me. And he turns to the people that he invites into his kingdom and he says, Asante sana, whenever you did this to this person, you did it to me. When people were bullying somebody because they are different and you stood up for them, Welcome to my kingdom because you did that for me. Why? Because that was a person whom I loved and I cherished and you did the same. You loved me by loving people. So who is your neighbor? Who are the neighbors in your life? Jesus turned to him and asked him, Who do you think did the right thing. Who is your neighbor? Take a minute. Close your eyes. I want you to think about that. Who is your neighbor? Who is that person that God wants you to turn the feelings that you have for them to be this one's for their different? I don't like what they do. I don't like what they stand for but I wish them well and I'm going to pray for them because they are my neighbor. They are a child of the living God. And maybe, just maybe if I love them and maybe if I pray for them one day, God will reveal himself to them like he did to me. Just maybe, God will turn their lives around like he turned mine around. Maybe God at address you kitu yenye huwa inani bother in their lives. Please, I want you to find one, two, three names. Who is your neighbor? Lord, we pray that you would give us your love. Your son Jesus Christ comes to teach us how to do life, how to partake of the life that you promised us, an abundant life. We know that you believe that if we submit to your ways, it always seems like defeat. It always seems like loss. But if we surrender and submit to your ways, we would have the best life we can ever have. And your son, Jesus Christ, he taught us that the way we inherit this kingdom is to love you, O oh Lord, with all our heart, with all our strength and our mind, and to love the unlovable, the indifferent, to love the person next to me, to love every human being as I love myself. Father, we cannot do this without your spirit enabling us. Forgive us for our sins. Forgive us for our pride, open up our eyes, open up our hearts, and Lord, may your spirit dwell in us to be the salt and light of this earth. I pray for this wonderful church. I pray for this amazing youth in this church, and I pray that somehow may how they treat one another and how they treat other people in this community, in their families, may it just be so of you that somebody would ask themselves, I wonder how, I wonder why they do that. Maybe there's something about this God that they say they love. Would it spark a conversation, a curiosity? Would it, would it pull many to this place? We lift you up, Jesus Christ. If we lift up your name, you will draw men to yourself. So be exalted, we pray, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Sante sana. Sante sana. If you forget any other thing, remember love God, love people. Love God, love. Love God. Love people. Sante. Pastor Brian. Is it you? Is it Joy? Joy.